Zoroark is a monster. You can attack infinitely with faint attack. And I know that sounds like clickbait, but I'm being serious. You can attack five times total with faint attack if you land all of your jumps back and forth. And the cooldown is like two or three seconds. It feels so short. And then you add something like cut on top to do an extra slash in the middle of the cooldown, which cut also kind of heals you. And then you're right back to back and forth faint attack. If you get the proper jump or the proper lining, you are just a nightmare to play against. Now I know it might not look by the end of this that I did a lot of damage, but that's because we were so strong against this other team that we didn't need to do a lot of damage. Taking them down was a piece of cake with Zoroark. All right, time to get into that jungle and do as much damage as I possibly can, as fast as I possibly can. I saw the other team and I am actually kind of threatened by them. Uh, I know I saw a Caesar, Dragonite, uh, Greninja, another sniper. It was Greninja and Inteleon. Um, I hope that we are able to hold our own against everybody. I think we will, as long as I can get some good level ups. Zorark has some nasty infinite attack ability to him. Uh, if you land everything at the right time, it really will, to the opponent, feel like you're ulting a surprising amount. Even though it's not your ult, it will feel like an ult very consistently on the opponent. Uh, even just having Fury Swipes to start, having that back and forth jump to start is nuts. Um, I do really like seeing that our team got a kill to start. That's awesome, that's always a great sign. Uh, but yeah, starting with Faint Attack right off the bat, you can attack five times with it if you land it all. Um, I'm gonna go help top lane, see if we can land it and show it off. And I didn't even have to use the fifth one, that's awesome. Uh, bada 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 it's just like it feels like um, I'm pretty sure Lucario has it with extreme speed at least for now extreme speed uh, is a whole thing of as long as they have a blue aura circle around them you can just keep infinitely using it five and it's just nasty it just does the job and it, it's cooldown is almost done I just feel like a monster. Goodness gracious, Sororc. It's just nothing. It's awesome. I do typically like to pair it with Shadow Claw, but I'm gonna pair it with Cut, because if I'm not mistaken, Cut, uh, well, if I land it, Cut will uh, heal Zoroark as well. So the fact that I can do this, get myself in the fight, for so long, and then use cut. Oh, there's a dragon here nearby. Um, is, and then heal myself with it. Sounds pretty fantastic. I should probably go help bottom lane since we've pushed nicely up top. Um, also, fun fact, if you're new to Zoroark, for whatever reason, and you're watching this, uh, you can turn into any of the lane bots as well, including, and I'm not kidding you here, including Rayquaza or Zapdos when they show up in the middle. You will just fly around as them. You break out of his illusion as soon as, um, as, soon as you attack, but up until that point, uh, you can, and Rayquaza gets huge because he goes into like, you know, serpent slithery form. Not, he's not balled up in a bun the whole time. Um, oh, I see Scyther's going down, but I would like to help us take Rotom real quick. Uh, yeah, you'll just be around the whole time. You, you like, gray out in the map as uh, Rayquaza. It's fantastic. Oh, Mosquito move. I did not know Buzzswole had the ability to uh, try and drain you of health. That was awesome. Uh, we're pushing hard this game. I like it. This is a good one. This is a good match. I, I like. I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage as Zorark right off the bat, but I feel like they're gonna surrender before I even get to show off his stats, which might be a better match to show off how powerful he is. The fact that it's nothing, like, like the fact that he's just he's just in out. And I still had, if, if you saw there, I still had the ability to warp back to a point for a while. Uh, I'm gonna go help Venusaur up top because Venusaur is alone with Buzzswole. Uh, let's just see. I assume that I'll get there 
and have it back in time. They are really pushing for this point. Oh, wow. Venus are good job holding that point on your own. Proud of you. Um, it seems like we're doing good push on all fronts, which I'm very proud of. It gets nothing. It's it's just so satisfying. My goodness. It's just so satisfying. I haven't even used my alt yet. I don't feel fear as Zoroark. You can hit infinitely as Zoroark. Seriously. Like, it's... This really does hit like it's an alt. The fact that it hits five times and its cooldown is so fast. And I could be hitting the opposing team, like, all with that attack five times is ridiculous. Yeah, it feels like we have a huge lead. I, t I take it. I feel good about it. Uh, let's take their farm. Why not? Anything we can do to take a little bit of a lead. Not only that, but faint attack and cut and, uh, what's the other one? Claw slash, whatever it is, uh, all warp through walls. So at that point, not only are you jumping back and forth, but like, let's say they're on the other side, um, where the Buffalo and I can't actually remember his name right now, where the Buffalo shows up. Um, you could keep being like, I'm here for the fight. I'm not here. I'm here. I'm not here. Like you could just keep jumping in, attacking them, going to protection, jump in and attack them, go back. So like you keep jumping in and oh, they all jumped over. I might die. That's fine. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Yeah, that was not ideal. I was pushing towards, I was pushing towards their goal and they all leaped right over my head. So they all had the, uh, the flank on me. That's fine. Uh, it doesn't seem like that's going to be a big problem in how our match has been going. And that's not a sign of poor gameplay. That's just an unfortunate situation where you saw the whole team fly over your head and you're like, oh, either they're going to go to try and score or they're all going to turn around and come for me. And unfortunately, they all turned around and came for me. Uh, I'm going to go help Mammo Swine. I don't think he needs much help, but he is alone down here. So anything I can do to help be nice okay cool and I think you're gonna get him cool very good never mind I'm sorry I took him from you uh, he was definitely yours Scyther and Venusaur I think Venusaur is gonna hold their own up there it seems like we're at the point where we're pushing in their spawn Let's get in there. Oh, let's get in there. I missed the cut. Ah. If I had landed the cut, I probably would have ended up getting just enough health um, to finish him off. Uh, but unfortunate that that's the way that that played out. Are they going for, are just our team going for Dreadnought? Is anybody else up here? They're pushing for Dreadnought. They got Dreadnought. I'm honestly gonna jump up here real quick just in case. Yep, that's what I thought. Hello. Wow, he he ulted me and it was nothing. That's a great, I mean, for a speed, for a guy who doesn't have much uh, of his own standalone health, considering that I'm supposed to be pretty squishy as a speedster, that was pretty good standalone effort against an alt. I, I can't complain. Oh, they spawned back in fast. Um, it would be nice if I had any amount of health still though, uh, or any amount. I think that's what I meant. Any amount of healing. If I had a confi right now, I'd feel very nice. There it is. I, I, nothing against the other team, but I was expecting a surrender at some point. It was not in their favor. Even though it didn't, we must have been over leveled on them. It didn't feel like we were that over leveled on them, but we must have been crazy over leveled or something because it started getting kind of handed to us at some point. Oh, it wasn't close. <laughs> 18 and 8. That's what I like to see. Only 69 scoring. Nice. Um, but that was not close at all. That was probably one of my favorites that I've had in a while. Sh let's just shout out the whole team at that point. That was smooth. Uh, props to everybody. How was that? How was that Zorark game? That felt good. Six, that's it? 63, 31, 15? That's what I meant. Like, he, I was attacking infinitely. 
Got 18 kills, eight assists. So I was really in the fight, but we were so in the fight that I didn't have enough time or need to do a lot of damage. So in a way, it might look like, oh, maybe he doesn't do that much damage, which I've, I mean, I still did 63. I'm not, there's no complaints here. That's still really good. It just might on the surface look like that wasn't a lot, but in reality, it's because we didn't have to do a lot. Like they weren't healing themselves to any extent. They weren't defending to any extent. We were against attackers and all arounders. Caesar, honestly, knowing his bullet punch should have had a lot more heal. It's kind of ridiculous. That means that he must not have gone like bullet punch or something to have 3000 recoveries. Not good as a Caesar. My point here though, no complaints. That was a fantastic Zoroark showcase. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hey, goodbye forever.